Operation. By the eve of the Civil War, the four million Americans who had broken away from Britain had become 31 million, and the original 13 states of the Union had increased to 33. But not everyone welcomed this expansion certainly not those living in the South. Southerners in particular felt that their distinctive way of life was threatened. Indeed, the South was increasingly seeing itself and being seen as different from the rest of the nation. Nothing symbolizes the southern way of life more than the great plantation houses that still survive in all their splendor. The South boasted far more millionaires than any other region in the land. Southerners liked to flaunt their wealth, importing antiques and sumptuous furnishings from Europe. Most of these fortunes have been built on growing tobacco, rice, sugar, or, more often than not, cotton. The people who worked these plantations, which set the South apart from the rest of the country, were slaves. Their lifestyles were very different from their masters. Building magnificent mansions and laying out beautiful gardens, Southerners firmly believed that they had brought the best of European civilization to the American continent. The Yankees were dismissed as mere barbarians. A popular saying then was that the Northerner loved to make money, the Southerner to spend it. The South had always been a class society, the least changing region of the land. Many would argue that was its problem. While the North became increasingly industrial and city-oriented, the South remained agricultural and rural. Slavery, though, was the major difference. 